Hi, I'm Mori Kismet. I'm 14 years old and I live in Adelanto, California. Okay. I've been producing music for about seven years now. Um, around mid-February, early March is going to mark my eighth year of producing. I got into producing music solely from listening to the music of artists like Calvin Harris and Audien. Um, just from listening to their music alone, it kind of inspired me to take my own route with it and just think to myself, huh, maybe I should try to do this myself. So um, from there, I downloaded the trial version of FL Studio, which to this day I still use. And um, from there, it's just been a learning experience of learning more things that I could use, more techniques from other artists that I've met along the way, and just growing and learning more things as an artist every day. Yes, it is my first beat battle, and I am super, super excited for it. <laughs> when I sit down to create, I first start off by making sure that when I sit down, I'm as comfortable as I can so that more ideas flow as naturally and freely as possible. Um, and then from there, I usually just like try to work on like an intro or something, um, which can later span on to making a build-up, and then the build-up helps create the energy and vibe for whatever drop I'm going to want it to do. So... Um, yeah, that's basically what my process is like, and um, it varies, um, especially with how quickly I can get something done. Um, sometimes, whenever I'm really, really in the zone into an idea, it doesn't take nothing but a few hours to get like a work in progress done, whereas certain tracks take a lot more time to develop, and I think that's just because of the complexity of each project. How I would describe my style, there's really no set description for it because I tackle so many different genres and so many different styles and I do so many different things so it just kind of seems impossible to categorize it and label it as one thing but something that I do bring to the table is I guess myself in a way because um, by me bringing what I've learned from just experimenting because I taught myself I didn't really watch any YouTube videos on sound design or anything I just learned myself from experimenting with different stock plugins and third-party plugins and just trying to see what I could do myself so what I I guess what I bring to the table is me and what I can do to help make my music stand out so I actually use a laptop that my dad built for me. Um, he does build computers. Basically what he does is he takes um, old shells of laptops, uh, places new hardware inside of it, and then downloads the new software to help everything run smoothly. Um, and so about, I believe, two to three years ago, um, he got me he built me this computer and I've been using it ever since and um, I use FL Studio 20.5 uh, when I first started out I actually used FL 12 but that went to 11 and then back to 12 and then onward to 20 <laughs> um, so it's just a back and forth process of learning how to use the techniques that I've learned from working in older versions of FL Studio and applying them to the newer versions of FL Studio and just using the same techniques and making new ones. So um, there is one producer in a way that has mentored me so far, that producer being Virtue, V-I-R-T-U. Love him. He's super amazing. Um, when I first started to, I guess, get noticed, um, he found out about my music somewhere and um, he was very interested in it and he wanted to help me improve my mix techniques and how I structured things and for the time being he helped me out for a really long time and his music to this day is still some of the best stuff I've ever heard um, and he continues to inspire me to do new things with my music every single day along with Audien who I mentioned earlier. Um, if it weren't for Audien I don't think I would have ever started a career or started producing as a hobby in the first place um, as well as Ricky San, Boombox Cartel, Pixel Terror, Trivecta, um, AU5. There are so many more that I could list um, but in some way shape or form they've all inspired me to better my music and I am eternally grateful to them all. <laughs> Things I would really, really love people to know about me. Uh, first being, I am proudly pansexual. I have been for about two years now. Um, being open has actually been such a great experience for me. Uh, just being myself and not having to hide it from anybody anymore. So, yeah. 
Um, in terms of things you should look out for, um, I don't know. I don't really have any singles or any original content coming up, but I do have an official remix for one of my idols coming out very, very soon on a very awesome record label. Can't talk about that yet, but look out for it mid-October. Uh, same thing mid-October and throughout the rest around Halloween. I'm going to be playing two shows, one in LA and another in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, Get Freaky V2 with Audion, which is insane because playing a show with my idol has something that you would never expect to do at 14 years old. So it's just insane. I cannot wait for it. Those of you who are coming to see me at Get Freaky, I appreciate you so much and I cannot wait to see you all there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me.